the siege of Paris. I'm sure if you search around on YouTube, there is a siege, how to siege Paris. Well, this is and his strategy on how to siege Paris. Well, when I start, first got this game, I searched around on how to siege certain capital. His the, was the only video on any siege, on any capital, and I just learned from him. But there's only a few pointers that i like to point out that on this video that he didn't mention whatever. I did use this strategy to attack the minimum. There is a point I know that after going to sit rap and look at the map and what's not. At the start of the game, of course, if you deploy your artillery, it doesn't matter which faction you are attacking, you can immediately force attack them that first barricade in front of the middle map. You can you can basically force attack them and then point to the location on the map which is basically somewhere in front of that bridge and you can just randomly strike that area. It's easier to destroy that barricade instead of direct, instead of direct attack one barricade. If you generalize and attack that little on the ground you can basically destroy a whole bunch of barricade all at once. As you destroy the barricade, the enemy probably send in some flyer and send their artillery on you. While you send in your infantry inside transport, which, which I recommend immediately to get and secure those uplink and then upgrade them to whatever upgrade that's available to you. Well, since this is a skirmish game and we had to push record when recording is kind of laggish, so I wasn't playing tip top shape. And then again, it is a skirmish game, and the rank is kind of varies depending depend on which um, battalion type on the skirmish game you do. I should have chosen Mac, but whatever. Now, as soon as you destroy the first barricade, you generalize and attack the general ground around the second barricade. Once that is destroyed, as you can see from right now, once that is destroyed, you got an open. You don't really have to destroy the whole barricade area, but it's more recommend. It's depending on your style, but you still have to destroy these two: the front barricade of the middle bridge and the back barricade. Red Dragon mentioned that go, some people go to the side, I wouldn't know, but if you do, that's a huge detour. Instead of destroying two barricades, you have to go through three, which I never go to the side for whatever reason. That detour is going to take you forever. And on my old channel and video, there was an argument that which capital, siege capital, was the hardest in. In conclusion, I agree with my old channel comment, actually old channel video comment that this map is, this map particularly is the hardest of all siege. I rarely ever capture Alpha during this any siege on Paris. I rarely capture it. Occasionally I do, but it's just too damn hard. Because they can easily garrison all the surrounding buildings, causing and attacking them, which is a pain in the butt. That's why it's hard. I mean, there's so much area that is, the enemy can garrison and cause a bit of pain in the butt to do. You li okay? That being said, the reason why I destroy usually after. The Usually after I destroy the two barricade, I usually gather my force around whiskey and then plan on my next attack. Depending on what the enemy deploy, usually I fight against computer because online there's not a lot of people. Then again, I don't play online on in war because it's like ghost town. That being said, usually I gather my force around whiskey and then depend on what the enemy deployment is. If I have not got a good chance to capture Alpha. Like right now I see that mostly infantry and I got a lot of vehicle around so I just plow through it. 
and tried to capture Alpha. And I got plenty of time. Four minutes remaining, and I, I got plenty of time to capture Alpha. At the same time, majority of the time, I usually just destroy the enemy as I try to plow through it. That, well, not much different between Red Dragon's strategy. His, I think it makes more sense, but mine's just a little added pointer to his strategy. I'm using his because I based it off his when learning how to see this map anyway. It was good education. No, anyway. If you had a chance, plow through and capture Alpha, which majority of the time is hard to do on this map because it's the hardest siege map of them all. Majority of the time, I have to destroy the enemy. If I'm lucky, I might not get destroyed. Well, that being said, I hope you listen to my pointer. Watch his video first, then listen to my pointer, and that's all.